This Color Land Living segment is sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. Great service, an awesome selection, and JJ's VIP rewards makes JJ's an exceptional value. Locally owned and operated, a true mom and pop shop since 1998. The city of Sioux Falls has such a bustling downtown area. It's one of the first comments folks from out of town tend to point out. From the Sidewalk Arts Festival to First Fridays, Moonlight Movies and countless events, downtown Sioux Falls plays a pivotal role in shaping the community that we all love. Brandon Hansen serves as the Vice President of Downtown Sioux Falls. He had a chance to share with me his journey with arts and theater and how it led him to the heart of the city's growth and development in this week's Across the Table. Brandon, thanks for sitting down with me. I'm drinking a mojito. It's a mock mojito. <laughs> what do you have? A Manhattan. Oh, classic. I've always wondered what's in a Manhattan. Is there? It, it... Um, three levels of alcohol. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, I like it. I like the way it looks. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. It's very delicious. Mm -hmm. so. mm. Maraschino cherry and to top it off. So I wondered about that. Okay, well, cheers. Thanks for sitting down. You are. A vice president now. Is that, yes, is sir. That, how, how does that feel? <laughs> it feels wonderful, honestly. It's um, it's an honor. Okay. Honestly, um, you know, I have not generally been one to care so much about titles mm -hmm. um, in my past, but um, it is it's humbling and, uh, and it's an honor to get to serve a team yeah. in that capacity. Sure, um, sure. Let's yeah. talk about where how it began because you grew up in what state? Nebraska. All right. Yep. I was born in Iowa, I suppose, but most of my childhood was in Nebraska. All right. And you came to Sioux Falls for college? Correct. Yep. Went to University of Sioux Falls. Um, spent all four years there. Loved it. Um, and then just... Met your uh, wife there? Met my wife. Yep. Um, we we kind of got together after college, but um, we were really good friends throughout college. We were both in theater and, and just in the arts. And so um, just a natural... Um, connection there but sure. uh sure. ended up moving away to la and new york afterward and short stints but um, oh, wow came back here how were those stints were they for acting things they were um i think that was that was the goal that was the dream uh, at that point in time um that is cool i mean i do, I do see you and and even britney on commercials sure. <laughs> like yeah. that local commercials but like yeah. I, and so that was something where you were like this is what i'm going to do i got to do it in la you know if it's going to happen so like you just went there and um that's a tough thing to do i knew i went to new york doing the same kind of thing and so it's yeah. tough yeah. and so what was the first thing that you did <laughs> well so new york i didn't do anything you and went so to new york or la sorry new york was first okay i went to both and so um yeah new york was um really the first time I had gone kind of out of this little tri-state area mm -hmm. and uh, really went big there, I guess. Eye <laughs> but uh, super eye-opening and I, don't, I, w I just wasn't ready sure. for it, honestly. And so I came back pretty quick and then I had a buddy walk in and say, hey, a couple of us are moving to LA in a couple of weeks and like, do you know anyone that wants to go there? And like, I literally walked into the office and quit or put my notice in and then that is amazing. Um, packed the car and left. <laughs> <laughs> you are a, a fly by the seat of your pants kind of guy. I love it. I used I like to it. be. You used to be, yeah, right? Yeah, right, it's right. changed. <laughs> so. so you went to LA for a stint yeah. and, and uh, did some things out there? Yep, mm -hmm. yep. So a lot of extra work and so a lot of TV shows that people were watching at that time. I think they're all kind of come and gone now, but uh, a lot of background work just to pay some bills um, and then did a lot of um, acting classes and coaching sessions and things like that. I love how your, your career has grown and just careered into many different jobs. So this is but where you are now. It, it just continues to get better. So it started, you mentioned Target, scooters, Target. Then you, uh, you, you eventually went back to get a master's. I did, yeah. So um, that was in 2020 when the world was kind of different yeah. um, or changing. And it's just sort of, you know, I had, I had some really good mentors uh, at my job at that time at the Washington Pavilion um, who just really encouraged me to do this. Um, and it's something that I just naturally was always interested in, but um, I also kind of had this thought in the back of my mind, you know, people are going home right now, and so how can I make sure that I either keep my job or I can get the next one fairly easily, and a master's is really my, my solution to that. So a master's in business? Master's in business, yeah. Same college, same university, I mean? Yep, University Falls. Um, it's a master's in business with a, an emphasis in organizational leadership. Okay. All right. And so the first job after having that degree was what? 
Uh, still at the Washington Pavilion, I was quickly promoted after that to the Director of Museums, which was overseeing the Art Center, the Science Center, and then eventually Sculpture Walk. Um, and, and now the Vice President of Downtown Sioux Falls. Yes. And yeah. so what does that entail? Yeah, um, so we have a really small team. Uh, there are six of us total, um, including the President, Joe Batchelor, myself, and then we have four other f folks on the team. And so really um, my job is to oversee the day-to-day -day operations and it's pretty new um, and so I'm, I could probably answer this better maybe in six months or something <laughs> but um, but no I oversee the operations making sure things are, are running smoothly so far it's been a lot of system building and making sure that um, we can do the, the volume of events that we have with sure. just four people really sure. and so um, it's really kind of building that structure and infrastructure and support for um, the four people who are actually doing all the work. <laughs> I mean, you do a lot, and, and, you, and you're a dad. How, how is it being a new dad? I love, love, love being a new dad. Um, I, I think I always knew that I would love that. I didn't, you know, we, my wife and I waited to have kids for a long time. We wanted to date each other and um, just figure out what being married was first. Um, so that was just our path. Um, into parenthood. So it's obvious that you love this city, you love Sioux Falls, and you're super passionate about it. Where do you think that comes from? Is, is it, I mean, you grew up in a brat, you know, you grew up in, in Sioux City, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yep, grew up in Sioux City, um, South Sioux City, kind of that little area. Um, and when you came to Sioux Falls, you just decided, I'm just going to go all out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, there was no 10 year plan or 20, whatever, it, whatever it's been. It's, I think it's been 15, 20 years, I don't know. But, um, you know, moving away, I think, um, really kind of solidified some of that for me. Um, I kind of realized after being in LA and being in New York that Sioux Falls has honestly just as much to offer. Um, you kind of get in these little niche uh, neighborhoods in those two massive communities. And so you kind of stay put anyway within this, a similar radius. And so I think I realized that combined with the low cost of living, how exciting is that? And then uh, moving back, planting roots, um, it just, um, I think I've just kind of grown to develop this desire to make where I am better and leave the place better than I found it, uh, if I can. Um, That's great. Without uh, sounding too arrogant No on that one. But, um, you know, instead of just moving around and trying to find the next best thing, I think like there's actually a lot of value and pride in planting and making it better. Right. <laughs> or, or just contributing to it. Because there's so many great people who have made Sioux Falls what it is. and just the ability to get to be even a small piece of that is pretty cool. That's awesome. I yeah. mean, we're happy to have you. Sioux Falls mm -hmm. is, is uh, lucky to have you. So thanks for, for joining me today. Right back at you. JJ's Wine, Spirits and Cigars is Sioux Falls' premier adult beverage retailer with the widest selection of premium wine, spirits and beer in the region. They're located at 3000 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. If you're looking for a no-frills place to drink some beers with friends and play some games, you should really check out Loki's Tavern inside JJ's Axes and Ales on West 57th Street in Sioux Falls, next to JJ's Wine, Spirits and Cigars. This newly renovated space has pool tables, dart boards, shuffleboard, and lots of character with daily happy hour and drink specials. This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits and Cigars. Great service and awesome selection and JJ's VIP rewards makes JJ's an exceptional value. Locally owned and operated, a true mom and pop shop since 1998.